Thank you for tuning in to this National Crokinole Association coverage. This is the finals of the Ontario Singles Crokinole Championships. Two great combatants here. On your left, you have Justin Slater, who in the quarterfinals took out Darren Carr. In the semifinals, took out Josh Carfiello. On your right, you have Andrew Hutchinson, who in the quarterfinals took out some schmuck named Jeremy Tracy, and in the semifinals defeated Connor Ryman. Let's get down to the action here now. This is a race to nine to determine this year's champion. Slater drains his first open 20. Hutchinson comes up a little bit short. That was uh, a missed opportunity there from Slater. Although pretty tricky shot here for Hutchinson. Let's see, is he able to convert? He is. He powers that home, nodding up the 20 cup. Basically erasing that mistake of missing his, his first open 20. Nice board control there. Pushed that in quite nicely against the post. Slater still able to get, oh, Slater didn't get the off. That is big. Wow, another mistake here. Board getting interesting. Slater seeing if his disc will fit in between the post and the zone button and it does not. Slater going for a lot. He did get the double, but it's what we call a Holstein double, one of each color. Hutchinson takes advantage of that. Slater basically conceding this first round. Two points, Hutchinson, in this race to nine. A couple of mistakes, but a couple of fantastic shots in that round as well. Ooh, speaking of mistakes, just a little too much weight on that one caused it to lip out. Oh, Slater unable to convert on that. No. Once again, board getting interesting. What Hutchinson was trying to do there was get the off and also disrupt this shot. Ooh, because I'm a little surprised Slater was unable to convert on that and I'm guessing Hutchinson is as well. He wanted to move that other other black disc away from the center. See as he ever, <laughs> wow, just pounded that. That was a, a tricky position for that. Slater says, all right, you can make open 20s, but can you shoot Hogan's alley? Earn it. And he can. Some people would say you can't hide from the hutch. I would beg to differ. It is possible, it, it is darn tough, but it is possible. Slater trying it again, a little, leaving it a little tougher. Let's see if he can live up to the slogan if he can't hide from the hutch. Can he get through here? Oh, I don't know, I'll give that like a 50% grade because he got the disc but he was not able to keep his disc on that I know he wanted to keep that on, keep play on the outside. Back to the 20s race. Two shots left each. Pressure shots right now. Hutchinson lips out a little bit. Slater, fantastic board control, rolls out. Hutchinson can only go for the off and try to utilize a peg. Doesn't get it, although that is a tricky spot. As you can see, Slater taking his time. Which way does he want to take it? I think this is the right decision. We can't both be wrong. He does secure that very tricky off and two points. Nodding this match up at two points each. Slater first to act in this third round. It's been a long day of Crokinole. We started with, uh, can't remember the exact number, somewhere between 45 and 50 combatants on the competitive side. Almost all the biggest names in Crokinole were there. The ones that were missing were Ray and Jason Beerling. Otherwise, all the big shooters were there. Such a tough field. Even making the final eight was an accomplishment. You had Robert Bonnet, John Conrad. The players that you've seen in all this coverage that I know you've been watching. 
Ron Langell, who's been on an absolute tear this season, fantastic showing this season, which is wrapping up. And, and Ron unable to secure a spot in the final, the final eight on this day. Uh, yeah, that is a testament to just how tough the field was. Back to the action here. We got three 20s each. Advantage Hutchinson at this point due to the hammer advantage. I think Slater was trying to create something off a peg there. But regardless, he's push play back to the middle. Draws a mistake out of Hutchinson, but a, a, what we would call a good mistake. Slater indicating which peg he's going to try to utilize here. Oh, just a little bit off. That was a, that was a wicked tough position. All... Hutchinson needed to secure those two points was a valid shot. Hammer holding strong. Three rounds, three hammer wins. 4-2 Hutchinson at this point, and Hutchinson first to axe. Slater first to miss. See what Hutchinson's able to do here. There is an opportunity for an off, and he may be able to pull his disc back a little bit, although he may choose to just hit and stick. Oh, I'm not sure what he chose, but I see what he got in it. Uh, it's it's an opportunity for Slater is what it is. Oh, such a thin slice. Beauty shot by Justin Slater. And that red disc is posted. Interesting. Slater has left his red disc in such a place that it's going to be tough for Hutchinson to secure a takeout. Oh, ho, 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 fancy pants. I'd like to see that again in slow motion. Maybe we will at the end of the round. Hutchinson up two 20s to one. Against the hammer, against two red discs. Likely going to push for a double. Nope. Happy with the single. And leaving Slater in a wicked tough position. Slater's smiling, but <laughs> he may be cursing old Hutch on the inside. Pro move there. I looked at that, and my first thought was go for the double. But Hutchinson saw something even better. He's uh, made this definitely very interesting. Now he's opting. Does he go through his own? He's, I think he's going to stay on the outside and keep a peg in between his two discs. Nicely done. Slater going to be able to go through his own and ricochet into the center. That would be one wicked shot. Must not be there. Comment down below. Do you uh, do you enjoy these rounds as much as I do? So much more entertaining than a 20s race. Seeing a little chess match in action between two of the best. Well, Slater was going for the double there. It would have taken a boatload of power to get a double. Speaking of doubles, nice. Nicely done by Andrew Hutchinson. Speaking of doubles, Slater needs a double and a follow-through 20. This will be a highlight for the ages. Oh, he got a double and a 20, <laughs> but not what he needed. Beautiful slice 20 by Slater. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. All kinds of peg action. Beautiful double takeout. A lot of, lot of highlight shots in that round. Low light there, the last one. But regardless, 6-2 for Andrew Hutchinson. Slater first to act in this round. Lips out. What is Hutchinson able to do with this opportunity? Oh, unable to convert. He was just going for the touch 20. Eased off the power a little too much. Oh, Slater unable to convert. Two red discs on. Nice. Hutchinson lining up for the one on the far side. Knowing he takes that out and he leaves Slater very little opportunity. Slater giving him a tough choice. Does he try to go through... No, it would be a little too skinny to go through. He's going after the one in the 15. And nice pullback.
Slater rolls out to the five. What's Hutchinson going to do now? He's going to stay out in the five. Very interesting. Hutchinson's, Hutchinson's hammer. Slater weighing out the options. Does he peel and force Ander to shoot all the way through the house? Get play on his side. If he rolls up into the 10, Hutchinson having the final shot, all he'd have to do is carve himself up into the 15 with that final shot. He opts to peel. Says, I don't want to play out there. Come on over on my side. Come on in. The water's warm. Hutchinson likely looking for a hit and stick here. Secures it. Slater. Offense or defense? Looking like offense. Looking for this roll in 20. Catches the peg on the way in. He was looking for offense, but he gets some pretty awesome defense. Who knows? Maybe that's exactly what he was trying to do. I don't know. But regardless, Andrew Hutchinson with a tough shot. Oh, no. That was a big miss. Slater makes him pay. That round is done. That's why you practice your Hogan Alley, Hogan's Alley shots. Right here. That's the question. Is that what he was trying to do, or was that accidental genius? What do you think? 6-4 Hutchinson. Hutchinson first to act. First to miss. Goes long. Oh. <laughs> Makes up for it in a beautiful way. Slater comes up short. Hutchinson likely to try to roll away unless he wants to get fancy with another Peggy Sue. 20. Interesting. Must not be there. The angle must not be there for the, the off 20 coming through the house. So he uh, wasn't even pushing for the follow through, I wouldn't say. I think he was pushing for exactly what he got. Leave Hutchinson with a bit of a tricky shot or at least wait for a better opportunity. This may be it. Is he going to push for it? Still content to play possum here. Oh, ho, ho, speaking of playing possum, what a beautiful roll to the outside. Forces the peel. Oh, tough one. That would have been a big, big 20 for him to secure. He's still not in a bad position. 120 advantage. A lot of pressure playing against someone like either of these guys, but Justin Slater is so good at just he waits it out, he doesn't panic, he just waits for the opportunity to show up, and you need to play almost flawless to not allow him that opportunity. Push for that follow through 20 there. Didn't quite convert it. All, all Hutch needs is a touch 20. He says, you know what, I think I want the off too. Back to the 20s action here. Just overheard something there in the in the background. I think I might over over myself actually, but uh, this is a race to 11. So if I mistakenly said earlier it was race to nine, I do apologize. This finals is a race to 11. I mean, it is the Ontario Singles Crokinole Championships. It is not to be trifled with with a pesky little race to nine. It needs to be at least 11, not 12 like they do in the U.S. Open, but 11 was good enough for us Canadians. Oh, a little twirly bird there that drops just outside. Hutchinson taking his time. That is a funny spot to come up the line. Would uh, He'd be running the risk of driving that straight into a post. He does have hammer, so he doesn't need the 20. Uh, he just needs to not give one to Slater. All right, he does have a line here. Money. Doesn't get the off, but he's still in great shape. Even if Slater drains this 20, which he does, Hutchinson's still in pretty good position because he has hammer. 
Likely looking for an off and a roll away or just the off and stick. Doesn't get what he wanted. Pretty confident in that one. Slater's going to be looking for an off 20 here. Instead, he got the off off. That was tough. That red disc must be sitting quite tight to the peg as Hutchinson takes his time, measures it up. Oh, ouch. Slater takes a commanding lead, six 20s to five. At that point, Hutchinson had to go big. He needed the off and the 20 to tie that round. That was a tough mistake for Hutchinson there. That uh, It was a very tough shot, though. Hutchinson quickly shakes that off, drains his open 20 to start this next round off. Hutchinson up 8-6 to six in this race to 11. Slater first to miss goes a little bit long, a lot of bit long. Better than sitting right by the center hole though. Yeah, not what he was looking for, but he is okay with the outcome, forcing a peel out of Slater. Hutchinson up 320s to two. This 20 right here is huge. Is he able to secure it? There it is, drains it. Keep pressure on. Slater must drain. He's got to wait for a mistake out of Hutchinson. Will he get it? Not yet. It's been a long day. We started early, and this is going on 4 in the afternoon. There are still a lot of people sitting here watching, enjoying this fantastic action. Best Slater can hope for at this point is a tie. He needs that mistake out of Hutchinson. Does not get it. Hutchinson secures another two points, taking a 10-6 to six lead. Oh, that yeah, right there. That was, uh, yeah. A fortunate bounce of the puck for Andrew Hutchinson. Slater with his back to the wall, lips out on his first open 20. Still even Hutchinson with something to think about here. Does he go for the follow through? Does he try to roll away? Offense, defense. What do you think he's going for? I vote defense. Even a blind nut finds a squirrel. I was right on that one. Fantastic defensive play, although there may, be an, may have been an opportunity for him to carve in there, but it was still a nice roll away by Hutchinson. Here we go. Tough spot. Is he able to shoot the alley here? Nice. Although he grimaces a bit because he's left this opportunity for Justin Slater. Justin going for that off 20. A little bit off on his angle. Rolls clear out to the other side. Hutchinson in a very good position here. Is he going to take the off, or is he just going to give that a little bump? Let's see. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think maybe he was trying to leave that red on out in the five, but here we are. Slater has peeled, forcing play back to the middle. Pressure on Andrew Hutchinson right now. Big, big 20 right here. Drains it. Slater back in the position of needing to wait for a mistake out of Hutchinson. Gets a little mistake, but it was a good mistake. He's on the right side of the hole. Slater's gonna need to push for a follow through 20 here. Gets it, money shot, fantastic. Pressure on Hutchinson now, definitely needs this 20. Drains it, two shots left each. Even a tie is good enough to secure the win for Andrew. Putting the pressure on. Nice. 
Nice. For the win. Open 20s are easy, but the more important it is, the tougher it gets. Here we go. Can he do it? Can he secure the win? Oh! Fantastic. Follow through 20 by Justin Slater. That was, that was the difference of the round right there. Hutchinson first to act. First to miss. Goes long and leaves it in a great position for Slater. It's great for Slater is what I'm saying because Slater has an opportunity to have fantastic board control here. Keeps it back on his side of the house, although there may be an opportunity for Peggy Sue. Drains it. Huge. Fantastic shot by Andrew Hutchinson. Slater shakes that off, gets right back to the business of shooting open 20s. See Josh Carfiello sitting in the background there. He was last year's Ontario singles crokinole champion. He got to take home that big old trophy and look at it for the year. Who's going to take it home this year? We're 4-4 in the 20 cup. All Hutchinson has to do is not miss. There it is. Because this is a race to 11, a tie would do it. So right here, Hutchinson again with an opportunity. This shot, he drains this 20, and he will be the Ontario Singles Crokinole Champion of 2024. He drains it. The multiple pumping of the fist, very warranted. What a battle. What a fantastic Pokemon match. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Like, share, comment, all that YouTube stuff. And get ready for the World Crokinole Championships of 2024, which is coming up very, very soon. Congratulations, Andrew Hutchinson. Congratulations, Justin Slater, on a fantastic run at this championship. Enjoy that. Make it a fantastic, fantastic day. Good. Congrats, man. Thanks, man. Well done. And...